that there is a lot of demand for academic courses and professional courses offered through distance education. But to offer these programs on a larger scale, you need academics and support staff on a large scale. But there seems to be some kind of lack of awareness as to how to make use of the distance education or the distance mode itself to train the people who would man the system. To discuss the related issues, I have with me Professor B. N. Cole, formerly Pro Vice Chancellor of Stride at IGNO, and Professor Cole is presently the Director of Distance Education Center, University of West Indies. Professor Cole, we know that there is a lot of improvement in offering both academic programs and professional programs with the help of technology all over the world. And we in India have also started offering online courses, particularly in IGNO, we have a program online in computers. But then we face a serious challenge when it comes to the question of using distance mode to train our own academics in the area of self-instructional development, in counseling, and other uh, activities which they have to carry out routinely. For instance, we have about 20,000 counselors now, and we have nearly 1,000 coordinators and assistant coordinators, and we have to train thousands of course writers. In all this, our experience at IGNO has been that we arrange face-to-face -face training programs either for a day or more. But in our view, I mean, uh, it's obvious that it's not going to be the trend in future, particularly when technology is in place. I would like to know to what extent technology has been brought in to train people in such areas. First place, uh, let me comment on a few points that uh, you raised. Number one, you talked about uh, training, tutors, counselors, etc., who are in terms of in, in thousands, and that you train them for one, two, or three days. Now, the experience at IGNU must be the same as it is elsewhere, that two or three days really is not enough. So, in giving them face to face training for two or three days, to my mind, is perhaps the minimum. Mm -hmm the bare minimum that perhaps you can do. And therefore, if you are thinking of a reasonable element or reasonable degree of training, it has to be much more than those three days. Now, if we agree on this basic premise that to train a tutor properly, to train a counselor properly, we need much more than three days, technology comes in. Now, what does that mean? Technology necessarily does not mean, as you made a reference to online operation, we can come to that a bit later. But technology is all along, you see, educational technology, educational technology in terms of in it and for it, that is, the latter one refers to hardware, the, the first one refers to pedagogy. What has been done at IGNU and can be improved upon is to prepare materials for training, which can be training modules, training manuals, and all that. And they can be given to people who have to be trained. And they can work on that material. And those two or three days can be the practical aspect. Mm -hmm. So you can really extend, increase the number of days of uh, training. Uh, partly, those days will be used for their work on those manuals to get the basic theoretical inputs and. Uh, details, concepts, and then in the practical sessions, you can mm. get on to uh, real hands-on business, right? Now, then we come to this uh, online thing. Since your clientele is large, I think those manuals and other things, you can by degrees move on to put them on a diskette. Mm -hmm. CD rooms and other mm. things, and within which you can really incorporate even animation. Mm -hmm. And that can go to those people as if it is a live t 
teacher talking to them. Recently, I had an experiment uh, done and of which I was a part at the university, at a university in Pittsburgh, Carnegie Mellon University. They have devised a system what they call just in time lecture. It is normally a person delivering a lecture, a teacher, a trainer delivering a lecture, talking about various concepts, talking about theoretical details, and it is digitally recorded. Mm. With it's the help a of a camera, it could be mm. done in a classroom, it mm. could be done in a studio like this. Mm. And then that is transformed and you see carried on to a computer, mm. a CD ROM. Mm. And whatever transparencies you might use, some details, important points, cue points and significant elements in that, they are arranged with PowerPoint mm -hmm. uh, software uh, and they appear w along with you on the screen, on the monitor. So mm -hmm. As if you are delivering a lecture, you refer to those important points and you are delivering the lecture. Now this is what technology can do. That is many of the things that you do in a face-to-face -face situation can be taken care of mm -hmm. uh, by technology mm -hmm. and that sa saves your time. Uh, that, that is where you mm -hmm. can use it. Yeah. Uh, we read lot of literature yeah. coming primarily from the West yeah. on the use of technology in different situations, whether mm -hmm. it is training or uh, conducting practicals or offering programs and all. In a way, we have the theoretical awareness, mm -hmm. if not uh, a, a complete knowledge. Mm -hmm. And we also have a variety of technology available in India. And in an institution like IGNO, at least the availability and accessibility of technology is no more a problem. Mm. But the problem as we see it is one of design, one of adaptability. Mm. How the existing training materials, for example, the print materials we have uh, in a good strength, how that can be modified or mm. adapted to suit the uh, needs of uh, our training programs and how to make use of the available technology, including the teleconferencing. Okay. I, I think in the first instance, we have to be clear about what is coming from the West. You mm. said a lot of literature is coming on. Yes, yes, yes mm. people are free to write and they write and that is the literature you are talking about. Mm. But we should be clear about the fact that even the advanced institutions mm. in advanced countries do not use technology of the kind we are talking about through and through. Mm -hmm. Now, what do I mean by that? Let us talk of the British Open University. British Open University has hundreds of courses on. Mm -hmm. And we should, by all standards, accept British Open University as a standard institution, a pioneering mm -hmm. institution, and Britain an advanced country. But all those hundreds of courses are not available online. Mm -hmm. Let us be yeah, clear about right. it. Yeah. Because going online and bringing in high technology has a particular issue uh, within that. That is the issue of access. Mm. In a teaching and learning transaction, access has to be two-way. Mm. You might capture things technologically and put them in a diskette or whatever, mm. but there should be reasonable access from the side of student. Right. Uh, students should be able to get, get it. Or the trainees. It. Yes, trainees. Uh, now, of course, work is being done right mm -hmm. now to kind of reduce costs of technology mm -hmm. even for ordinary students, mm -hmm. but that is a long way off. So that is the first part I thought I need to make this comment. We should not be carried away mm -hmm. uh, by the slogans and literature and all that. We should be pragmatic. And when I say we should be pragmatic, what do I mean? Mm -hmm. Given the Indian context, mm -hmm. Stride's activities, IGNU's activities, mm -hmm. you have to think of the kind of clientele you have. Mm -hmm. You have teachers or trainers or mm -hmm. distance educators to train in the Northeast, mm -hmm. in the South, coastal areas, monsoon affected areas, mm -hmm. uh, cyclone affected areas, and Rajasthan, desert areas and places like that. Mm -hmm. Uh, so, remote areas, backward, you see, communities where there are kind of, they even today might get a cultural shock if mm -hmm. they watch something uh, on television. And these things have to be kept in mind. Therefore, to my mind, for IGNU and STRIDE, uh, the best way is to depend 
on a kind on multiple layers of technology mm -hmm. you must have things in print yeah. which is the more or less now mm -hmm. a sort of accepted mm -hmm. normal uh, well known technology mm -hmm. at the same time effort should be made uh, to move on towards uh, high tech and mm -hmm. you have co you made a reference to your uh, diploma program and master's uh, program which is available in print mm -hmm. now this can straight away go on to a disk Mm -hmm. The whole material can go on a disk mm -hmm. and you will have all those bulky things in mm -hmm. one disk. Transportation becomes easy mm -hmm. and let us say you have uh, 30 trainees in Andhra Pradesh. It is just a disk that has to move to that place. Mm -hmm. Now if they have PCs available to them, then given a kind of lab situation, they can sit and use that. Mm -hmm. Uh, if the number of PCs is smaller, seating mm. arrangement can be of a sort that at least three people can work on one PC mm. to get that information. And now, if PCs not, are not available, at least the diskette can move at a cheaper postal cost mm. and the things can be then uh, printed from the diskette there. Mm. So, th this is how you can uh, you use the technology. Comes the question of going online. Mm. You see, what is available to you today is the World Wide uh, web, web, internet, Internet's. and you can put your programs on, on the web mm. and people can mm. access them. Mm. But again, the question there is how many can access that. But as many can, you see, you can do that. My, mm. To my mind, by degrees, it should not be long uh, when people will start having their PCs. Mm -hmm. But as I said, mm -hmm. uh, I don't kind of say that everybody has to do that. I, I did talk of stages and layers of technology. You will have to continue uh, with many pockets within the country with the older technology, older approach. Uh, but at the same time, you, you need to move mm -hmm. uh, in the new direction. Yeah. Uh, that's true. I mean, uh, it, the combination of technology right, will yeah. uh, depend on the situation or the exactly. context in which it exactly. is used. Exactly. Yeah. For example, the uh, fairly established media like mm. uh, the video cassettes, yeah. audios yeah. and our own printed materials yeah. can be designed and yeah. given as yeah. a package as we are doing in the staff development programs. Right. Maybe the duration will be less and yeah. then you have to think of the component, mm. uh, components in each media. Yeah. And we are also moving towards that high tech which you mentioned. Yeah. Yeah. I deliberately asked a question on online programs yeah. because now we are going to offer our PG diploma and master's level programs in staff development yeah. to uh, various students uh, mm -hmm. from various countries. Mm -hmm. And one suggestion right now that is being uh, debated is whether we can make these programs available online. Now, there are number of considerations. The students come from different countries with the different technological developments. Yeah. And one consideration to see whether the access is there. Yeah. The other consideration is affordability. Yeah. And these are uh, applicable to our own situation as well. Yeah. Now, how within stride, what kind of arrangement should be there? Suppose you have online programs yeah. and you also have the usual way of offering the programs, yeah. how to manage them? You see, in the first place, uh, you need to put your programs online, on the web, mm -hmm. and have your, what you call, web address, right? I don't think that should be a difficulty. Your programs are already prepared, mm -hmm. and they must be on a floppy. Mm -hmm. They can go onto a disk, right? That is your end. Mm -hmm. Now comes the end of the student or the trainee. Mm -hmm. Uh, I am aware of courses, similar courses being given by other institutions in the world. Mm. Uh, London University does it, British Open University does mm. it. There are uh, institutions in Canada and Australia that do it. Mm. When they advertise, mm. they normally talk of that you need to have a PC. Mm. A That's personal a pre prerequisite. Computer. Yes, mm. it is a prerequisite mm. with an internet connection. Mm. The connection could be to your LAN, that yeah. is your lo local area network mm. that is connected to the wider area network mm. so that you can receive the materials, yeah. you can download it and handle it. Mm. Now, uh, this then becomes a precondition. Mm. Now, it is not necessary that mm. you have your own PC. Mm. What is necessary that you need to have access, access to PC, yeah. which could belong to somebody else, yeah. and you could reserve some time every day on that. Or maybe yeah. uh, made available in a study okay, center. Yes, okay, that, that can be done, right? So, mm -hmm. so the 
presence or the existence or the availability of a PC is therefore must in one or the other form or access to it is necessary. Now, this is possible in certain cases and this will be possible will not be possible in certain cases. So, you can have a kind of as I said as an alternative. Mm -hmm. You can say that our course is available on mm -hmm. web. Mm -hmm. Those who can access it, let them give their kind of names and other things. So, you know that these people will access it on net and for others you can have it available in print format or in whatever form. And again, as I said, it is not necessary that you make it available to them in print format. You can make it available to them in a diskette form. A diskette can go, which they can get uh, printed. Uh, from that they can get uh, printed material, which they will use. And then, uh, there is something more that is being done. Lots of other things are being done. Uh, for example, tutorials mm -hmm. on online tutorials, what you call chat rooms or chat sessions. Yeah. You fix a particular mm -hmm. time and then uh, you come as a tutor and others log in at that time and you, you discuss, you a talk computer, about computer things. Computer conference. Yeah. Yes, yeah. through a computer conference. And the only difference is uh, that in a normal tutorial, mm -hmm. uh, you are using words of mouth mm -hmm. and uh, people kind of can use body language also. Yeah. Here you, you are using words. That's and a new cult has now started, mm -hmm. kind of new custom that people in those uh, chat sessions don't bother about capital I's and mm -hmm. full stops and all that. Mm -hmm. They just run on, uh, give some gaps here and there so that communication is fast. Right. And it is an end. If you fail to attend mm -hmm. a program, you can go back to your computer sometime mm -hmm. later and kind of uh, retrieve it for your benefit. So those things can be done. You mm -hmm. can put your program on, on your web, but some effort has to be made within the unit. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I would like to go back to what you said at the beginning of uh, mm. our discussion that there is uh, no fun in going for uh, either technology based programs or online programs just for the sake of it. Yeah. So, the purpose should be clearly decided yeah. and then we have to evolve a kind of criteria. Yeah. Uh, for example, if you uh, look at the numbers, yeah. say the number of counselors to be trained. Obviously, the access is a problem. Yeah. At the same time, to train the counselors, that to repeatedly, yeah. as you said, that one time training is uh, almost no training. Yeah. Then if you have to keep it going, uh, in what way we can uh, bring in the technology and at what stages updating will be needed in uh, what media? You see, there are two questions now. Uh, first of all, I talk about updating. Mm. Updating is more like a revision, mm. you see, and if your material is uh, uh, technologically stored with you, revisions become easy, mm. right? So, updating whenever you want to update it and you feel the need to do that, you can do that. Right. It is much easier to handle mm. technologically recorded material mm. or stored material than what is available to you in print. Mm. You see, print is now a sort of subsidiary option to have it, even mm. wh when you uh, try to get material on internet. Mm -hmm. If the uh, message is longer than three, four, five pages, Cut the normal short. tendency mm -hmm. of the people is to get a printout mm -hmm. because you would not like to look at the monitor all along. Mm -hmm. You get the printout and then perhaps in your bed you go through those papers. Mm -hmm. So, to my mind, updating, revision becomes much easier mm -hmm. using the uh, new technology. That's uh, uh, the only computer. in the case of print or in the case of audios, videos as well? Okay, audios, videos are also, when you go digital, mm -hmm. here, mm -hmm. things become easier there also, right? Uh, then the question is actually when you talked about the, the use of it, yeah. uh, given this kind of uh, client. Uh, I think it can be used uh, all along. Uh, if uh, you have a really specific thing to ask about, you just kind of ra raise that question with me. Uh, okay. Suppose our, uh, uh, take, let us take our counselor training. Okay. Normally, uh, we give one okay. day the, or the issue that more. you are yeah. talking of is that they don't, all of them, they are yeah. thousands. They are thousands. All of them will not have access to. They don't uh, have access. Okay, you yeah. have the print based thing. Mm -hmm. You use, this is what I mm -hmm. said right mm -hmm. in the beginning, mm -hmm. uh, though I use the example of remote areas mm -hmm. and things. Mm -hmm. What perhaps was in my mind, uh, those who don't have access of the kind, uh, needed mm. for the use of technology. Right. To them, you use the kind of technology that uh, is possible for them. Mm. Now, 
I think uh, given the Indian scenario and what I notice around, there is reasonable element and reasonable component, uh, reasonable availability mm -hmm. of uh, computers, uh, computer technology, mm -hmm. computer awareness yes, mm -hmm. uh, available in the country. Mm -hmm. So though we have thousands of counselors mm -hmm. and tutors to train, I am sure many of them are in towns, in cities, mm -hmm. in colleges, mm -hmm. universities where some kind of computer services will be available. Mm -hmm. So if you move uh, maybe slowly, steadily, mm -hmm. but certainly from print to diskettes, mm -hmm. print will be your backup. Yeah diskettes and diskettes can move to those sites mm -hmm. they can get printouts mm -hmm. so it is the intermediary thing that can be done by this kind of technology mm -hmm. and once the number of pcs and connections mm -hmm. are available in reasonable number they can switch over to it mm -hmm. perhaps what i'm talking about is that uh, you are caught up in a period of transition mm -hmm. that's See, right. yes print is a kind of old technology mm -hmm. But has, but has significance, uh, I would say everlasting mm. significance. If you read, uh, I was talking about it yesterday to, to a group of people, mm. that if you talk of uh, self-instructional format as the second major uh, development in correspondence education, mm. and then it became what we call distance education, mm. that generation, that material, in self-instructional format mm -hmm. will always be important, will always be used right. in print format. Mm -hmm. And then as you jump over audio video programs and move on to computer technology, that you may call fourth generation. Mm -hmm. And if you want to talk of internet as fifth, mm -hmm. you may do so. Mm -hmm. But the second generation will be in use for a long, long time. Mm -hmm. So wherever you can use that, mm -hmm. and you have to use that, you use that. But transportation, and carrying things will become easier through diskettes That's and storage. I, I do yes yeah, yeah. storage and then revisions and other things mm -hmm. and as i said uh, in most of the towns and kind of uh, bigger metropolitan mm -hmm. places if i or a certain person really does not have a pc to him or her own mm -hmm. uh, to herself or himself the person will have access, mm -hmm. I, I would guess, yeah. uh, to some facilities somewhere where the person can get printouts and all that. And in My some, own thing, some cases, even yeah. institutions, institutions uh, will have. Yeah. So I, I don't think we should mm -hmm. hold ourselves mm -hmm. back. Mm -hmm. What I'm saying is that access from the side of the trainee mm -hmm. is a problem. Yeah. But for that, we should not, at this stage, hold ourselves back. That's Whatever true. material is available, we have revised them. Let mm -hmm. us put them on discs. Mm -hmm. on discs. Mm -hmm. yeah and then kind of create a clientele mm. for that and people use that. Mm. You see, very often, again, you see, Japanese have, in a sense, uh, by, by their various inventions proved mm. that at times you create awareness by making a thing available. That's so right. once yeah. you have these things in available, then people you, may come, you may then discover, okay, initially 10% could use them. Mm. Next year, maybe 25 use yeah. them and by degrees, but you have to have to have the thing in hand. That's right. In all this, stride will play the key role. Yeah. Now, given the stage we are in, uh, what would you expect stride to do in terms of equipping itself mm -hmm. to face these challenges? I have two specific uh, uh, issues in mind. Yeah. One is to get trained yeah. to operate the technologies, including the PCs and all. Yeah. The other is to be uh, very, very comfortable with the communication skills. Yeah. I would like to have your views on that. Okay, I think in the, you talk of uh, stride in mm. specific yeah. terms. If you recall, uh, you had a colleague known as Anita. Yeah, Anita, right? but uh, let And us if you it. recall, uh, at that time I was looking after the things, made a special effort for her mm -hmm. to go to Britain yes. and learn what you call computer-based, computer-assisted, computer-related learning. The intention obviously was, mm -hmm. it was long back, yeah, yeah. the intention yes. obviously was that we have to move on to mm -hmm. this and within the, within the unit, mm -hmm. we must have at least one person mm -hmm. uh, who would know how to handle these things. And using the minimal resources, we, the intention was to use her services then within the unit mm -hmm. to train others, That's other right. colleagues. Mm -hmm. That was how we did. I mean, mm -hmm. send people one by one to pick up different mm -hmm. kind of different uh, 
trades, mm -hmm. so to say, some for audio, some for video, some for computers and so on. Mm -hmm. I, I think uh, she, uh, I, I know that she has left. A similar mm -hmm. thing has to be done. I mean, somebody within the unit, mm -hmm. that is a minimal cost. Yes, Otherwise, mm -hmm. all of you could go mm -hmm. for a training program and see how it is to be done. But uh, to do it at a minimal cost, mm -hmm. have at least one person who becomes thorough with it. Yeah. And then kind of you commit your time right. to, to a reasonable degree mm -hmm. every day, two hours or yeah. so, so that the person can uh, kind of train you people. Mm -hmm. Much is important, you see, it is important that the staff mm -hmm. of Stride itself takes interest and without any injunctions from mm -hmm. anywhere, mm -hmm. I mean, because I if you are taking the role of leading uh, the, the faculties and institutions or helping them at least, if not leading, mm -hmm. then you need to be well versed with mm -hmm. that. So you have to uh, kind of learn these things, yes. read literature, yeah. hands on practice and things, are, and then it mm -hmm. can be done. I it is not difficult. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Professor Cole touched upon a wide range of issues and offered his views and comments on what we could do and what is possible in future. We at Stride are making efforts to bring in more technology and adapt our old materials, not old in any uh, other sense except that they are available in print predominantly. And I am sure that in course of time Stride would perform much better than what it is performing now and technology will have a very, very significant place in the tra training activities of STRIDE. I thank Professor Cole for giving us his valuable time and his experience, sharing his experiences and views. Thank you, sir.